what's going on you guys it's your boy B and yes I am back uh, I know I've been gone for a minute I know it's been a minute since I've actually done a blogging video where I talk but I do have a good excuse um, I have been working in TV production for the last couple of months I have been working on an up-and-coming talk show the panel TV yes there's the host all their bright and shiny faces um, so it's been keeping me busy, okay, but, uh, you know, I didn't want to just ignore my blog, and so this one, I'm getting back into it, starting now, with this story I'm going to bring to you. Now, a lot of you people out there may know Paula Dean, the chef, the, um, Southern culinary miracle, as some people call her. I mean, I've never heard of that, but you know, I think she does a bang up job when she's in the kitchen. But all of that is kind of irrelevant due to this story I'm going to bring to you. So I'm going to shake the fuck out of her and throw her to the left. Upon researching on SandraRose.com, shout out to Sandra Rose, I come across this story where Paula admits to using the N word for racial jokes. Okay. Now this was all brought about due to uh, her store manager, or former store manager, she has a restaurant in Savannah. The store manager by the name of Lisa Jackson claimed that her brother Bubba sexually harassed her and threw racial slurs at her. So she's been sued for 1.2 million dollars. So, with this kind of thing going on, of course, you know, people are going to have to research it. I had to research it for myself because, you know, I want to make sure that what I'm bringing to you is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Now, usually I don't have to, you know, research what Sandra Rose says because she's usually on point. But, you know, with this, with a, you know, an allegation with this magnitude, I want to go ahead and do it. So, yes, I go and research it, and not only... Does this Miss Piggy bitch uses the N word so loosely? But the other things that she admits to to doing, she's using it for jokes. Then get this shit. I, she wants to have a slave themed wedding. Now I don't know who the hell's gonna marry her old ass at 66, but. She wants to have black men and black women dressed up in long white sleeves, short black shorts, and bow ties, and dancing around and, you know, uh, tap dancing like, like in a fucking Shirley Temple play. Um, Mr. Dean, let me explain something to you. You ain't all of that, alright? It ain't nothing for you to have your goddamn restaurant burnt down. Disclaimer. I personally am not going to go down to Savannah and burn your restaurant down because that's a goddamn waste of time for me. But you better get it together. I don't know who the fuck you think you are. But just because you're in the South, just because you're in Georgia, this shit ain't going to fly. Goddamn, I want to have a racial theme. What? Who, who thinks of stuff like that? Who? How did your mind even begin to... How did the cogs start turning to even formulate that idea? What? I mean, you have to be a fucked up person to be inspired by some shit like that. And see, you, you just got us all here thinking you're just some sweet old lady who knows how to throw it up in the kitchen and... No. We see you for who you really are now. And I myself won't support you anymore you know it's not like I supported you like all that much before but you know what now that I know what you're about what your family is about oh you forget it bitch let me tell you something mm -mm. we ain't having that we ain't standing for that you think you can just say this kind of shit and get away with it oh no ma'am alright I'm done with your ass I'm done with you, Paula Dean. And fuck you, fuck your restaurant, fuck your food, fuck the network that you're on. I don't even know what fucking network you're on that you cook on. The food channel, I think it is. Yes, it is. But fuck you, fuck the show, 
fucking producers for putting you on. I hope they fire your ass for this shit. And I hope you go bankrupt when she sues your ass for every goddamn dime that you got. Well, you might have a little bit more than $1.2 million, but I'm pretty sure it's going to put a hurting on your pockets. And I hope that she does. I hope she gets some money. I hope you, you, Bubba, and the rest of your goddamn family fuck off somewhere. You and your food. Fuck you, Paula Dean. And I'm done.